time is it? It's four o'clock. It's four o'clock. Yes, it is here in, where am I? Atlantic, Canada. Yes. Hello, everyone. Oh, my back. Where's my, oh, okay. Mm -hmm, that's good. Yeah. Well, welcome. Good to see everybody. Yes. Oh, just, oh my gosh, I forgot something. I need my lipstick. Yes. Okay, can I put my lipstick on? Oh, I haven't put lipstick on <laughs> for a long time. Uh huh. Huh. Yeah, that's good. I think that's good. Cleaning off my teeth. Oh my, yes. And we need perfume. Oh yeah. Just a little, little obsession, my favorite. Okay. All right. Well, welcome everybody. Oh, one more thing. Oh yes, my hair. Gotta fix my bangs. Like, do you think this comb is <laughs> big enough? <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, welcome. And I'm so happy to be here. And today, I'm going to share with you and show you how I create pop art. But first of all, I want to share with you a project I did a few years ago with my son. Um, actually, it all started with my patio table blowing over. And I was making this Christmas present for a friend. And then I loved it so much, I didn't want to give it away. So then I decided that I was going to create a lot of animals out of recycled material. And that's what I did along with my help from my son, Joshua. So today I'm going to share with you, I'm going to move the camera down, and I'm going to share with you the project that we did together. It's called The Green Guardian and the Eco Squad. It's a book about the environment and animal kingdom. So here we go. We're going down. And this is the cover of the book. Isn't that pretty? And this is the Green Guardian right here. And I would travel to schools. I traveled over 30 different schools in our province here of New Brunswick. And I would do demonstrations of all the Eco Squad. And the kids just loved them. They just went crazy over them. So here's a little display of all the characters in the book, which is, they're all just beautiful and they're all safe here with me. It's been over 10 years now since I created them. And, oh, somebody likes my glasses. Oh, but thank you. Thank you. There's Moose. There's Tooth. There's the Panda. Oh, look. There's a bunny. Oh, pelican. Oh, this was my first one. This was the disco. This is called Jazzy the Disco Dog. We, um, so I made this uh, as a gift. I was going to give it to a friend, but then I liked it so much I didn't want to give it away. So I kept it. And here we are. Here's what I'm going to show you today. This is Atlas the monkey and Hitch the snail. And this was the little character I didn't tell you about. Yeah. Anyway, isn't he cute? Atlas the monkey. And then we, here's the rest of the little characters. And that's the cover, the green garden. So we're just going to put that over there for now. I'm going to show you the original Atlas. Isn't he just precious? Oh my goodness, he's cute, isn't he? So up here, oh, see, he's, he's got a little little injury there. We've got to fix him up, add a little, little dark marker there. So this is Atlas, and his face in here, I took a plastic container, uh, like a milk container, and I cut it out. And the same with his body, and his tail, and his legs, and his feet, with all the plastic... A container and then I can't painted it of course and the ears are the container and his little little bowl up there and then I dried some coffee grinds and I placed them in the body of the monkey kind of gave it some nice texture 
And then down here, there's a little bit of a netting. And this was an old piece of jewelry that I had saved. And these little round things here, my mom was living with me at the time, and she wore two hearing aids, and these are the batteries from her hearing aids. And I also included them in his ears, plus a little googly eye. Always good to have an extra eye, isn't it? <laughs> and then a disco uh, mirror, and googly eyes, of course. But right here, these little tabs came, from, came off the, the milk container. And this little netting here, I believe came from uh, was either some cheese or on a bouquet of flowers and then these were the glasses from an old pair of eyeglasses and this little wire right here was the underwire to an old bra I had kicking around okay and then his teeth we had um, our family pet we had a family pet a Shih Tzu called Angel and this was from her dog food bag. And I turned it inside out and washed it. And then I put it through the shredder and it looks like teeth. Gave it a nice display of teeth. And then little Hitch, he's made from a piece of string and a hearing aid battery and some broken pieces from a, a little caution jewelry. And then he's got a little bobble on his tail. And then there's a ribbon in here that I used to accentuate his tail. And then of course, what's a piece of art without some bling? So these are some pretty sequins there. So I wanted to share that, that's the original piece of art and I have all of them quite safe and sound right here. So we're gonna put Atlas over to the side for now. And put that away. So I'm going to show you how I create a piece of eco art. A piece of I have Atlas already printed out, and this is an eight by ten canvas. And here's the paint we're going to use. We're going to use pink and turquoise and green and orange and yellow and black and white. Okay. So we're going to take a piece of carbon paper and place that over the the. Um, it's a snail. Yeah, that's right, Ashley. It was a snail. Yeah. I don't... What did you guess? You guessed it was ice cream? <laughs> that's good. That's a good guess, too. So we're just going to place Atlas over top of the carbon paper and make sure the black side, the dark side, is face down onto your canvas, okay? Then we're going to take a, a pen. I had a pen here, or a pencil. Sprinkle the love all over the place. Thank you, darling. Yes, thank you. Thank you for sprinkling, everybody. And it's just so nice to be here. Isn't he cute? What a great smile he has. You know, and today is the most perfect day to be happy and put a smile on your face. And I hope Atlas does. He's so cute. Yes. So what we're going to do, we're going to start tracing Atlas. I'm going to start down here around his feet and then we're going to just trace all around the outline of that sweet little monkey. Yes, he's so cute, isn't he? There we go. And Hitch the snail, he's kind of smart, isn't he? He was a great little hitchhiker. Yes, he knew. He knew what he was doing when he got on that monkey. Smart little rascal. And we'll just go around there. And let's just make sure. Oh my goodness, he's popping out already. Okay, and then we're going to go around his lovely, smiling, happy face. Yes, he's so cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm looking at the, the dog food bag now. It reminds me of little Angel. She was such a sweet puppy, a little Shih Tzu. And she was such a joy in our lives. There we go, and her eyeglasses, that's right, and her little nose, oh I forgot to tell, that was made out of a key ring, her, this little nose, I'm going to trace its, its ears and his hair, he's got some spiked hair going on there, that's okay, he's quite a modern monkey, isn't he, I would say, and finish his ears, those back, 
those batteries. And of course, they remind me of my precious mother. So it's amazing how you can preserve memories in a piece of art. Wow, that's amazing. And this cute little earring. And then, well, we can well, I'll just put some dots here for the sequence. I'm sure we'll get creative when we get down to some serious painting here. Mm -hmm. Right? So tell me, where's everybody from that's joining me today? I'd love to know where, you're, where your home is or where you are at this moment on this gorgeous Saturday in July. Gosh. Oh, can't forget its little necklace. Little pearl necklace. Oh my, isn't he cute? He's awful cute. Oh, I've got his eyes. Great big green eyes. You gotta love green. My mother had green eyes. Oh, look, there he is. Sweetheart. Now we'll just circle around the rest of his little feet here. His little footsies. Awful sweet. So this has been a great summer fun series with some super gals all across the country. And uh, thank goodness I had the help of my son getting the time zone right. And I said, then I begged <laughs> Ashley to change my time for me. So I'm just kind of a little problem child here. I'm a little challenging, aren't I? Yeah. That keeps things moving along. There, I think he looks pretty good. Hmm. Yes, okay. So see, that, that's pretty easy, isn't it? You just take your, your copy and your carbon paper, your canvas, a little pencil. Yes. Okay. Ah, oh, that's sweet. Somebody's working in her garden, and she has a beautiful name, Sheila and Janetta. Hi, Janetta. Ah, precious. Okay, so we're going to lay that copy over there. And now what we're going to do, we're going to get our famous marker. Hi. Aw, oh, thanks, Janetta. Thank you. Can't really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take our, oh, let's get him on screen here. Thank goodness my son, he's a fantastic techie. He helped me set this all up and you know, every time you go to do something like this, there's always a surprise. Uh-huh. Right, girls and boys? So we're going to take our marker, and we're going to trace around Atlas, okay? Trace around Atlas. I like the sound of that marker, don't you? Kind of keeps you awake when you're creating art. Oh, jazzy. Looking jazzy already. Oh, yeah. And we'll just go around his little feet. Awful oh, cute. I had so much fun creating that, that art. I get up in the middle of the night and start washing plastic covers and containers and oh, nothing was safe. <laughs> okay, we'll put some little little toes in there. I'm not sure how many toes. Monkeys have toes? Well, these could be little decorations too. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay, then we're going to put on his sweet little necklace, like that. And we'll keep marking around his outline. Like that. Sweet little ears. And his eyeglasses. They put probably an old pair of mums as well. Here we go. And hair. He's a cool, cool looking monkey, I'd say. And then, there we go. Now the first smile. Love that smile. Look at that. Sweet. And we'll put in his little markers there. I think I have a guest here that's not too far away, maybe in the other room. Not sure if uh, you could jump on here and comment. That'd be awesome. How do you know when to stop collecting for projects? <laughs> oh my gosh, nothing is safe around me. 
and my son is, is home, and he's a minimalist, so even collecting, collecting and saving recyclables, oh my gosh, it can get a little overwhelming, and you just run out of space, but there, what is fun there, see, so we've got them traced already, actually that would be a sweet little coloring, coloring page, wouldn't it, oh my gosh, I like that. Huh. All right. So then we did some little little sequence down the side on it, like that. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Love it. Oh, yeah. Cute. Awful cute. There we go. All righty. So now that we've got them traced, take our paint. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to really take a shortcut here. How are we doing? Oh, 16. I'm going to take a shortcut, take my black paint, <clears throat> and we're going to put it right on the canvas. Mm -hmm. Anybody else do that? Yeah. Just going to go, all right, I'm going to take our brush, take our brush, and we'll just start painting. Now with my pop art, I don't go right down to the edge of the monkey. I leave a little line, little, uh, what do you call that, a space where I don't paint. <laughs> There's got to be a technical term for that. Oh, I don't know. So we're just going to trace around the outline. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Like that. So, we're not gonna, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. That makes, okay, now we're going to finish around his tail. And then we're going to come down around here. Funny. What fun. I really enjoy everybody here in this summer fun series. It's been great. Great. Negative space. Yes, thank you, Jeanette. That's what you call it. See? I do need assistance. <laughs> Too much going on in my brain. Oh my gosh. Negative space. Thank you. Right on. Ooh, la, la. Yeah. I didn't think she stops. <laughs> I don't think. No. And I have to control myself to, like, my heart is in the right place because I find stuff and then I, I see what I can create about it. But then, like, like Josh says, Mom, I mean, your heart is in the right place. But, gee. But we do recycle. We take all our recyclables to our appropriate place here in our city, Fredericton, New Brunswick. We're on the east coast of Canada. It's gorgeous here today. It's a beautiful sunny day. And uh, so even if I can't save them all, I can't save all the trash. <laughs> oh my gosh. At least we recycle and we're very good at it. We're very very diligent. We're good stewards of Mother Earth, and that's we can all do our part, right? Right. Okay. All right. Where's my water? All right. Okay. I need to. Okay. Okay. Oh no, not that one. It's too big. Uh huh. We need this one. So we're just going to go around those black spots. Oh, cute. I like that. Oh yeah. You know, every time you paint the same thing, it always comes out different. Anybody else do that? <laughs> oh my gosh, too much fun. So I have some exciting products um, coming off the press. One of, two of them went to the printers yesterday. I'm taking all the Ecos in the book, The Green Guardian and the Eco Squad, and uh, I'm creating an alphabet poster and it's looking really gorgeous 
And also, I'm going to have flashcards with all the egos and bookmarks. And we'll have coloring pages. And we'll have a paint by number. I am super hyper create excited about that, about the whole bundle. Very educational, very, very appropriate for kids anywhere. Online, offline, bedtime. <laughs> we, um, it's going to be a very exciting bundle, so I've been working really hard at that. Can't wait to see everything. So it'll be um, a couple more weeks. Hopefully I'll have everything ready to launch before school starts, whenever that is. And uh, an ABC poster and flashcards. and oh, It's going to be super, super fun. And wait till you see all these characters. They look so sweet. Oh, there's uh, Atlas the monkey. Yes. Oh, thanks, Debbie. Nice to see you. Oh, you're amazing. You girls are amazing. What you do and how often you're on doing lives. And I was just telling my son I started doing this during COVID, but I haven't done one for a while because I also work full time as a hairdresser and we've been back to work. So that's good. But this this was fun getting ready for this. And there, I think he's looking pretty snappy, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. So there. There, we've got the outline started. We'll go back and do some more work with him. Get my water here. Okay. All right. Now, I think what I'm going to do... I would like to paint a pink monkey. Of course, we have to have a pink monkey. Come on, so I'm just going to take some pretty pink paint and start filling him in. Yeah, he's going to be gorgeous. Just gorgeous pink. Yes, oh my goodness. You can never have too much pink in your life. No, no, no. I'm going to go up here. <laughs> right. So don't worry if you go over onto the part. We're going to go over that again. Of course, the pink monkey goes with the pink pig. Remember that pink pig? Ashley, your voice did a fabulous job at that. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Pink monkey. Mm hmm. Pretty snappy looking, I'd say. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What, Brad? I am using uh, deco art, acrylic paint. And uh, that's what I started off with, and that's what I'm sticking with. Although I'm going to branch out, I'm going to try something new, maybe this weekend, maybe tomorrow. I'm going to do some acrylic ink painting and do a very fluid. Uh, abstract free painting style. I have a commission piece to do in that style, so I'm excited about that. Oh my goodness, what a great looking pink monkey. My goodness, sweet. We love doing, oh, Atticus, wasn't he sweet? I love his name too. So this is Atlas the monkey, and uh, Hitch the snail. Oh, I forgot to put Hitch. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Hitch. <laughs> we'll have to add you later. Oh, my gosh. That's terrible. Aw. Well, Hitch is on a break. He got tired of hitchhiking on, on Atlas. Oh, my gosh, Hitch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I never thought I'd apologize to a monkey. Anyway... Let's continue on here. Put a pink face in there. Aw, he's cute. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow in with the pink. I'll double dip pink and yellow. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's going to add some zippy dee doo da. Zippy dee doo da. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. There we go. 
pink and then yellow. Oh, I like that. I like that. We'll fill this part in. Right there. <laughs> Hitch took an adventure. Yeah, poor Hitch. We didn't do it on purpose. Just got so excited. Yeah. Uh, poor little Hitch. He's on a break. <laughs> Hitch took a hike. <laughs> That's right. I gotta go. I need some alone time. <laughs> and then we'll just fill this in up here. His little monkey ears. Yeah. He looks like he's on fire, doesn't he? He's snappy. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, need some yellow. Add the yellow right on. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Oh, got to fill in that in where his nose is. Yeah, right there. Part of his face. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Super. Now, I think we're going to make, let's make his hair or his spiky, spiky hair up here. Put some in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just so social distancing. <laughs> That's right. Good work, Hitch. <laughs> Very good work. Right on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that turquoise. It looks good. Looks good. Now, this little hat. What color are we going to make that little hat or whatever he's got on his head there? Not sure what that is. Anyway, let's try just orange. We'll make him orange. Peachy. Peachy orange. Mm hmm. That's okay. Yeah. So we're going to continue on. We're going to make his feet. Fill in his feet. Orange and pink. Orange and pink. Orange and pink. Orange and pink. Oh, I like it. It's looking really good. Mm hmm. All right. All right. Now his teeth. Or his eyes. I'm thinking make his eyes. I'm going to make his eyes green so he can see at night. Neon green. Mm hmm. Neon green. Sharp. <laughs> oh, his mouth looks like a, a piano keyboard. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Hit you never. Atlas, you never cease to amaze me or surprise me. Okay, now we're going to put a couple little eyes. Well, no, we can't. How come are we going to make those glasses? I kind of like the glasses white. What do you think? I'm going to add some more pink. Okay, it's a little bit more pink. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Yes. Maybe a little bit more yellow. Add some yellow down here. Let's make that necklace. Yeah, I kind of like that keyboard for his mouth. I'm going to put in some black keys. <laughs> He's dancing. He's our jazz and blues monkey. Oh, there's three black keys together, and then there's... I think I did that wrong. And then two, whatever. Well, or maybe he's had too much licorice. <laughs> he's our licorice eating monkey. That's what he is. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is great therapy, you know. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Yes, sir. Nobody's going to get my licorice, she says. Mm -hmm. We'll put a little black in there. <sighs> oh, he's cute. He's cute. What do you think? You like him so far? Mm -hmm. I think he's shaping up here to be something quite cool. So, so we're just going to wind this down here. Now when I think it's okay. I'm going to take some white, some white paint. 
and I'm going to carve out that little section that we left out, that uh, white layer, white layer. And then we're just going to go around the outline again, kind of smooth out those edges. That's okay. And then we're going to go around that way, that way, and that way. Carve that out up there. You can do this with paint or you could do it with a, a white marker or a white paint marker. They're fun too. Okay, we're going to go up this way. Just keep going around the whole outline of Atlas, the white paint. just makes me smile. He's awful cute. Mm -hmm. There we go. Boop. Just flick that up there. Look his little spiked hair. Right like that. Mm -hmm. There we go. He is sweet. Yes, I love the keyboard mouth, the piano keyboard mouth. <laughs> oh my word, too funny. <laughs> his teeth are stuck, yeah. He's either playing the tune through his mouth or he's been sneaking some licorice, some black licorice here, which is good. Licorice is good. I like it. So there we have it, my friends, our little Atlas, the monkey, and the invisible hitch, the snail. <laughs> Let's just fill in his little necklace here or something, too. Yeah, gotta, gotta fix his necklace or his jewel. I think he's got some special powers in that, that little pendant. It's probably where he has his powers. Yeah, right there. Precious. Hitch, you're looking good. No, Atlas, you're looking good. Hitch has left the building. <laughs> yes, left the building. No, don't like that. Oh, no, don't like that. Put some pink over it. You can always cover things up with pink, right? Wouldn't kids love doing this? So, you know, it's just so much fun. Even Older kids. <laughs> oh, a necktie. Yeah, it kind of looks like a necktie, Ashley. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. Or a bow. Yeah, a necktie, a bow tie. There you go. Just going to fill in those little spots. There we go. And super. And then take some black. I'm going to outline that little leg again. Go right over the marker. Like that. We got some black. We can dot it in here, over here. Sweet. More black paint. Outline his legs and his feet. There we go. Mm -hmm. Black dots. There we go. Okay. And we'll let, let him dry and then I'll post him. Hopefully later. Go around that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks, girls, for joining me. It was lovely to have you. I really enjoyed your, your lives. 
It was a great project, Ashley. You done good, girl. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to keep going around the outline of the black marker. I don't know. Black just makes everything pop out. Isn't it? Maybe that's why they call it pop art. Duh, Sheila. Golly. Are you going to add recycle bits to him? Not to this one. No. No. We've already done the original. I don't think... Maybe if I did a workshop, an online workshop with some, some guests, we could do that. But I think looking at the original, list, he's pretty awesome, eh? He's pretty awesome. Oh, and there's a little hitch. He stayed with his mama monkey. <laughs> so there you have it, my friends. So... I hope you check in. I'll be I'll be checking in with you as well when my new products are ready. My nice educational bundle coming up of posters and flashcards and oh well, let's let's bring me up here. Yes, posters and flashcards and bookmarks. And we have we're gonna have buttons. We got some buttons. Oh. Okay, that's the B. That's the Green Guardian. So all the characters are going to have their own button pin. Yeah. And some magnets. And uh, what was the other thing? Oh, coloring pages. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And paint by number. Yes. <laughs> so I'm super excited about those products uh, coming to, um, to our universe. Because we all need to have fun when we're learning. And I hope these bring a lot of joy to everybody. My educational bundle. That's right, that Ashley. I'm so excited too. Like, oh, finally. I mean, these these egos were created. When were they created? Okay, let's check the book here. Check the book. In 2011. There I am. I was 10 years younger there. Nine years younger. Not bad. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, it was 2011 that I worked like a, a recycling goddess <laughs> through the night creating all these characters. And um, 26 of them are finally going to go on there. They're going to be a poster pinup, a pinup poster, an alphabet poster. <laughs> so I, I'm super excited about sharing this with everybody and creating it. And it's going to be wonderful. And uh, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Pinterest. And you can find me on Etsy. Uh, I love Etsy. It's just a, a great platform. And also I'm on Fine Art America. I really like that platform as well. So to produce products. And they can put your art in just about anything. From a shower curtain to a backpack to a mug to... They got puzzles now on Red Bubble. I forgot about that. Yeah, Red Bubble. And oh, the other item on Red Bubble are uh, aprons. Oh, 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 that's going to be great. Anyway, thank you for joining me. It's been a, a super pleasure being here. And I hope you all have a, a great day. And remember to be happy and have some fun. And take care. Love you all. Bye for now.